Hey friends, Greg here the Pennywise guys. If you're like me and have concerns about the water level on your well, especially during this drought in California, I have developed a low cost and very easy way to check your water level at any time. Let's get started. Um, if your well is like mine, that has a cap that has no access holes. I have two small holes that are 3 8 diameter. And I got to thinking, what can I use to measure my water depth? And I thought of the 100% natural cotton rope I know absorbs water. And so what I did is I took 8 inch natural cotton rope, and I bought it on Amazon, on like a 100 yard roll, and I measured it at 80 feet long, if my, my pump is set at 85 feet. So I want to stay about 5 feet above the uh, pump. And I uh, tied some fishing weights to it, dropped it down, let it sit about 15 minutes. It's soaking up the water. I, at, the, at the top here, I have it tied off to a bolt that can't go through because it's bigger than 3 8 so it just is used to hold it there until you're ready to pull it up. So uh, if you have a larger opening, this, this works still, no matter what you have, this will work. You can use quarter inch cotton rope, it's even better, but I decided to go with eight inch because I have such a small opening. So now that I've had it sitting there for 15 minutes down in the water, you bring it up with your right hand or whatever, and your left hand, the other hand, is feeling for moisture. When you get it to the point where it's underwater, it will be cold and wet. And, it, and you can actually wring water out of the rope. The larger the rope, the more water it will absorb. But it has to be 100% natural cotton. Okay? And I'm, I'm feeling it with my left hand when I get to that point where it's wet. Alright. Let's see where, and then we'll do, yep, oh, right there. It's, that's where it's wet, right there. So take and clip it off here with a, these are the uh, binder clips, spring clips. You could use a, a, a clothes pin, whatever. Okay, mark it off. And now this is really wet and it's, it's, you can squeeze it and water comes out of your fingers. So you know you're underwater at that point. Okay, and there are the weights. Okay, uh, on a fishing line, they're the, they're the slider weights. I've got about five or six of them on there. It fits through that 3 8 opening and tied it off to the rope. Okay, and then what we'll do is we'll go ahead and uh, stretch this out and use a long tape measure to measure it. And then when you're not using it, I just put it in this bucket and I'll have it for, check it every other week, once a month during the summer. Just drop it in here, it takes about 10 minutes to check your depth of your water. Okay, let's go ahead and get this thing measured. Okay, after laying it out, I discovered that my well is in not so good a shape. The pump is set at 85 feet. My water level is around 71 feet. Okay, so I measured from the clip there to the end and subtracted that from the total length of 80 feet. All right, um, I went ahead and measured it a second time since. A week ago, I measured my water level at 43 feet. A week later, today, it measures at 70, 71 feet. So I checked it again, I am at 71 feet. So, the drought in California has uh, hit us pretty hard. My water table typically is around 45, 50 feet, and my well set at 85 feet. But at 70, 71 feet, that gives me about um, 15 feet of water on top of my pump and that's getting a little bit um, concerning so I will talk to a pump person and see what we can do but I'll, mo I'll monitor this uh, weekly to see where we're at since it fluctuated uh, from 43 feet to 71 feet in a week's time if I check it once a week then I can get a trend of what's going on so having this device is handy keep it in that bucket and check it as often as you need and uh, make decisions on what you need to do. Hopefully we won't have to replace this well. It's possible we might have to. 
All right, well, hopefully that'll help uh, you and your endeavor to keep track of your water depth. You guys have a blessed day. I sure hope you enjoyed this video and it was a help to you. I'm a general contractor and a lifelong do-it-yourselfer, and I enjoy finding ways to save time and money and helping others to do the same. Here at the Pennywise Guys, we're a group of contractors, friends, and family that have a wide range of experience in all different areas. And we want to share these videos with you to help you with your projects at home. So please like, subscribe, and share, and join our team. Also hit that notification bell to be notified of weekly videos. I pray that you are blessed, that you know him who is the author of life.